hello again, Ian Stuck Group Mastermind Games, more Malifaux, and this time Capelius. Rosie skins her eyes are a 6 8. There's not a whole lot on Capelius, he's part of the Dreamers box set. He takes people's eyeballs, that's about all there is to him. The second edition vignette saying he takes one for himself, which he usually eats immediately, and the other he takes, quote, for his children. His children are unknown, but, um, yeah. Another, another thing about this character, which has since been dropped, in the first edition, he had a rule saying unexplained connection, allowing him to be taken in crews run by the guild master Charles Hoffman. Whatever they were at the time, it should be mentioned that Hoffman was known just as C. Hoffman, and his first name wasn't known. So, that has since been dropped, as far as I can tell. But, or, but, lanky, thin humanoid creature, at least at first appearing humanoid. And until you see the squid face. Which apparently he has some aptitude at concealing. Just enough to make his victims think he's a normal guy, I'm assuming. Before he scoops their eyeballs out and eats them. I have no idea what his third edition stats are. Again, I still don't have any of those books for cards, so we'll just have to see. So I'm going for a disturbing skin tone again, and this is a good base for it. I find when you're going disturbing, lighter bases work best. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a shirt here, but I'm going to do it as skin exposed between his pants and his jacket. This is going to be a very simple color scheme. And there we go. Once that's dried, I can move on and finish up base coats. Next, a little bit of matte white. This will be a tricky one. So, Coppelius here is actually holding an eyeball. And, to be fair, I have no idea what the intended pronunciation of his name is, so... <laughs> I know I've said it at least two different times so far. And then... Violet Red 09026. Carefully picking out the suit, trying not to hit the flesh tone. Which will be easier in some areas and more difficult in others. I want a nice, solid coat here. Adjust my lighting a little bit. You want your work area to be well lit for this hobby in general. Even more so when I'm trying to record these. 
Working the light is critical to help with camera focus, and I've still got work to do on that. going with a matched suit here. selection. Sometimes I'll research something for a while to figure out how I want to paint it. Sometimes I won't have a clue until right before I touch it and go with something arbitrary. And sometimes I think I know what I want to do and then I get a flash of inspiration completely going away from what my original plan was. Sometimes uh, I get a clear idea from the get-go. Lord Chompy Bits was one where I got the idea right away. And this, the idea came to me right when I was wrapping up Lord Chompy Bits. Uniform gray. Sorry, but you know what? That's okay. Looks like on this basing, I wound up bunching up the material a little more and cutting a little deeper and wider than I normally do. So, helps to make it look a little more crude, though. That's what I'm going for since I view this as the stonework of the slums. Okay. That's base coats. Once it's dry, I can uh, start shading. Okay, shading. Working line 09025. Going to thin this with one part water to one part paint. Well, I lucked out and finally got my hands on the third edition rules manual. So not much has changed rules-wise, the biggest one being the existence of pass tokens that allow the uh, numerically inferior force to have the option to delay let the uh, opponent come to them. But it looks like parts of the fiction have been, uh, parts of the fiction in the rules manual have been expanded upon and some things kind of retconned, which one of, with one of the big ones coming to mind being in second edition when Titania was introduced, they wrote it to seem like the tyrants overthrew her first and then ascended to power with the natives of Malifo, who eventually became the Neverborn, then calling the graveyards the grave spirit to destroy the tyrants. And that has been changed to that the tyrants arose to power, and then Titania is the one who summoned the grave spirit before the remaining residents of Malifo then sealed her away. So, yeah, that's, I equate that to, um, oh, let's see. Well, let's look at cartoons of the 80s. Oh, specifically Transformers. The big dark secret of that franchise is when they started it, 
they had no idea where they were going with it at first and kind of made things up as they went along. So kind of something similar to Malifaux, what's going on in Malifaux where certain things that th they thought were good ideas at the time don't mesh as well as they initially thought and you know what, that is okay, that's okay. Still ticked off about the whole dead man's hand thing where three of my favorite masters are no longer allowed in organized play. To a certain extent, I get it, but to another extent, they should keep the game and the fluff somewhat separate. And that's all I can do right this minute, so once that dries, I can do the next shade. Okay, next, the Deep Ocean, 09076. I'll use a little more water than typical. Yeah, that leaves just enough of that flesh tone to give it an off. To make it just kind of off. Based on what I read in this rule this book I just got, that these schemes and strategies have been greatly simplified, which helps, I think. The previous edition of the game, there were just too many schemes, especially to uh, keep track of them or memorize them. And since they're randomly generated at the start of the game, that can be a little overwhelming to have. Dozens of different options at victory conditions. So reducing that to just four strategies and just 13 schemes helps substantially. That's not too bad at all. Once that dries, I can finish up shading and go from there. Alright. Matte black. I'll do a few uh, details before the last shade real quick. And I just rub hundreds of frames a second in there, okay. Now this is just going to be a detail on the eyeball Coppelius is holding. And Vampire Red. Going to go away from the black on this one and just give him bright red eyes contrast with the cooler color tone of the skin. In terms of warm and cool colors, warm colors are generally red and yellow. Cool colors are blue, well, I should say red, yellow, and orange. Cool are blue, green, and violet, though the primaries, red and yellow, are warm. Blue is cool. Secondary, green can be cool and warm. Orange is always warm. Violet can be warm or cool. Stormy Gray 09088. Okay, now 
switch to a slightly larger brush for this. It can be easier to use just one brush for everything out of force of habit, but don't restrict yourself. You'll find by using the right size and shape for the job, you'll save time and overall get a better paint job. Okay, let that dry and move on a bit. Okay, wrapping up, highlighting Surf Aqua 09078. Here is making bad noises again. Great. So switching to a dry brushing technique. Let's see, this should work. Ragged feather brush. Uh, no water, straight paint only. Rubbing it out till it looks like there's nothing left. And then lightly dusting the area to be affected. Refreshing your paint as needed. Going against any raised edges, like in this case, for example, across those uh, toes there. Be careful here because I don't want to nick the eyeball. As far as disturbing goes, that doesn't look too bad. I'm not going to worry about the midsection there. Just focus on the most readily visible areas. Pale Violet Red 09027. Switching brushes freely, but you want it completely dry between coats uh, or between colors. So you also need to clean it out between colors. So your brushes will end up ragged and feathered eventually, just from routine use. So hang on to them for this. Misty Gray, 2nd and 3rd edition, as in models, switching factions, 
So I just decided to stop and just do straight black on everything. Completely arbitrary, so it's your thing, do what you want to do to quote that old song. I can't even remember who sung it, but it's all over the media. Just want a nice solid coat. And that's it. The last step is just going to be to give this a varnish when it's dry. I prefer a matte, but a gloss is it's up to you. And that is Copelius. He wants your eyes. Give them to him. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. That's been stuck in my head for a couple of months after uh, <laughs> one too many uh, scam calls in one day. So that's it for him. The Alps are next. Until then, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.